today I'm going to show you how to play GameCube games on your Wii. To do this, you'll need a homebrewed Wii, so if you haven't done that already, check the description and click on the video to go do that first. Next, you'll need either an SD card or USB drive formatted as FAT32. If it's larger than 32GB, you'll need to download a software to format it for you. And next, you'll need the files that I'll link in the description as well. Once you get to the first page on GitHub, scroll all the way down to Quick Installation where it has these three links. Click on Loader.dol and it should start a download. And then you're going to right click on meta.xml and save link as and just click save and you're going to do the same thing for icon.png right click save link as and click save so now you have those files you're all set to get your uh, sd card ready so pull it up this is the same usb drive i've used in previous videos so we already have some emulators and wii games you're going to go into apps right click new folder call it Nintendo this is where you're gonna put all three of those files so go into it oops drag all three files in and when you get in here right click on loader.dol rename it to boot so that it looks like this boot.dol these ones, I'm just going to take away the brackets with the one. I've already downloaded them, so that's why they look like that. But when you're done, it should look like this. So now your app is ready, and now you need somewhere to put your games. So go on to the root of your SD card or USB drive. Make a new folder and call it Games. This is where you're going to put your, your GameCube games. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you how to download the ROMs, but I will show you what your SD card should look like when you're done. Your SD card or your USB drive should look like this. If you go on your apps, you should have a Nintendo with these three files. And if you go to games, you should have whichever game you downloaded in this format, game.iso. And now we're ready to go into the Wii. And now that we're on the Wii, let's go to the homebrew channel. This is where the, the Nintendo app will be. Also, make sure your USB drive is in the proper slot. If, it's, if the Wii is flat on its side, it has to be in the bottom. Otherwise, Homebrew Channel won't read it for some reason. So let's click on Nintendo. And it'll load up. It takes a little longer the first time because it's checking to see if you have an SD card and then it's checking your USB drive and then you'll be given a choice to choose from a choice to choose from <laughs> whichever one you use click on i'm a usb so click a on usb and there we go we got mario kart double dash on there but before you start um if you have a gamecube memory card you can put it in your wii and that works fine or click b and then go down to mem card emulation click a and then this will just save it to your USB drive so you don't have to worry about any extra memory card stuff. So once you click that on, click the home button to go back, go on to your USB drive or SD card and uh, you can boot the GameCube disc in the drive still through here instead of the home screen or you can go on to your list of games. So let's, uh, let's test it out. Now you can use a Wii remote, but for games like this or any other GameCube games, it might be better to use, I have the classic controller, you can use a GameCube controller, or basically anything that, that you have for your Wii. But anyways, now that we're on, I hope you have fun playing your GameCube games. One thing to note while you're playing GameCube games, if you click the home button in the game, It'll take you all the way back to the homebrew channel without any prompt or um, confirmation. It just sends you back and you might lose your, your game. Like your save data of the game. You won't lose the game. Everything will be fine. You can go back in and restart it. But that's just one thing to note. But anyways, I hope you have fun playing your GameCube games. Sub subscribe if you want to see more tutorials on a homebrew Wii. And have a good day.